Hello, my name is Paulina and I repair sewing machines. I also have a sewing studio called Creamberry and today I will show you this Victoria sewing machine. The Rita's is also making the identical same machine as this one so you might want to have a look at this video also when you have a burritas. The sewing machine comes with a different variety of feet that you can use on the machine. In this video I will not only show you how to swap the feet but also how to thread the machine. So let's start off with threading. The machine needs first of all also power. So here's our power cord. It looks this way and it goes this way around into the machine. We'll switch it on and I'll also show you the hand wheel which will always be turned this way towards you like the arrow shows in the picture. Start with the upper thread and I position it on one of the thread holders which I can take down for the transportation and I have two of them so I can use a twin needle if I want to. We'll start squeezing the thread through here and taking it all the way to the bobbin. The bobbin goes on top like so. I take about 10 centimeters thread and I wind it by hand about five times around the bobbin clockwise and then I push the bobbin to the right hand side like so. To wind the bobbin without sewing at the same time, you will need to open these two wheels so you will turn them against each other like that. I can press your foot pedal and uh, yeah, give a little bit of gas, give a little bit less gas, try it a little bit out, have fun, uh, just so you have a feeling for how fast your machine is going. You can make the bobbin all uh, full if you need that much thread. Uh, white is always good to have so and when you're finished we're going to take the bobbin to the left hand side like so and now we can just snip off the thread we can put the bobbin to the side because we're going to concentrate on the top threading first so we just take the thread take it out and put it in the first hook from the back to the front and there is one more hook before we come to the tension Make sure to have the presser foot all the way up when you're threading through the tension. We'll start on your right hand side and we go all the way up again. From the side it looks like this. I hold on to the thread, thread it through. Now I need to go also up into the lever like that. If it's not there you will need to take your wheel towards you. Before you do that it might be so that you need to click it into position again which goes like that. At the needle there will be one last hook that you can take, actually I'll do two, so you can take the left one or the right one, and it looks like that. Let's try the right one, if that one works as well. So you hold it with your left hand, and you put it in with your right hand, like that. Now we're going to thread the needle, so make sure that your needle is all the way up by just turning the wheel. And chop off the thread so it's all clean cut. And make sure it's short, not too long, because it's going to bend like a banana otherwise. And it's going to be hard to get it in. So the shorter, the better. You can grab hold of the th thread or brush it towards you with a finger. Now we take the table up and then lower it down, all the way down. And we'll have a look at the bobbin, which is inside here. And you've got a little bit of handle here, which you can pull towards you and you can push it out like so so here's our bobbin in our bobbin casing we'll take the bobbin out out of the casing and i can show you it actually just pops in like that and you will need to have your thread going in through this little opening which i'll show you again it was already inserted perfectly i'll show you that again i'll pull it all the way to this little slot here and then you take the take it all the way to here so it goes underneath right there. Now we just have to hold on to the whole package. It looks like this. And it has a hole up here. And that hole needs to go all the way up. Here, that's the hole. And we just look at it from all sides you can see it looks exactly like yours and we'll just put it all the way in again you can press it lightly inside the machine and it goes click and then you're sure it's all right on some machine you can wiggle a little bit with the hand wheel and it drops out this one it doesn't but even if it's like not inserted properly 
it looks like it is although it should be like this so make sure it's all the way in now we hold on to our top thread and we turn the hand wheel towards us when your thread lever is all the way up you're finished you can now gently pull your threads up to the surface and make sure they're underneath the presser foot so you take them towards you first and then you take them underneath the presser foot now we can close up and put the table back on let's get some fabric and do our first stitches so we'll need to take your presser foot down and start with giving gas when you've got the program number one you've got a straight stitch we can also make a zigzag very easy and wider all the way through the widest point would be here you've got loads of different other programs which means other stitches even stretch stitches are there i'll show you that later in the video so it's very simple for kids to understand this is the stitch length and uh, the smaller the number the smaller the stitches on zero you're going to be standing still here is the reverse which works the best way in biggest stitches you will need to use it to secure your stitches in the beginning and the end this will be the sound of your machine it's kind of loud but it's a little bit nostalgic i think let me know what you think the tension on this machine i put on too you would have to have a look at what's the best tension for your machine if it's too loose your thread will be looking out underneath like so and wouldn't be nice Tension test is always made in zigzag. The machine is also made for jersey, so you can do a straight jersey stitch on this machine. And it looks like this, which is pretty nice. You can even use that for chunky stitches on jeans. I'll also show you how to take off the foot and put a new one on. So you actually take it downwards and then you slip the new one from the front to the back, like so. I'll show you another picture with that, my hands in the way which will be like so, you just click it in and then take it downwards to release it and you pull it on top of it like that. Okay, that's it. What's really cool is also you can clean your machine very easily. You just open it up right here, just flip it open and there is a magnet inside it's holding on uh, when you close it up. But yeah, you can just clean up here and put some oil inside even Change the light bulb if you necessary, um, which is pretty cool because you can get in and check out what's happening inside. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss any other videos that I'm going to be making in the future. The last feature that I would like to share with you is this lid. It's a little compartment for your bubbles so they're all stored properly. I hope you enjoyed the video and here's the manual. So if you look until the end, you'll get all the tips that you've got in the manual in case you've lost one um yeah so enjoy and take care bye bye